Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tutter Treasures. Hello there. <laughs> if you're new, then welcome aboard. So last week, I think it was, I made some boho tassels and um, I made them before, but this time I made it a lot more simpler uh, for myself. And the last time I made them, I also made some uh, boho uh, beads. And um, I kept having this, I don't think I've ever seen it before, but I kept thinking, um, the last time I did it was with a straw and you kind of put an end cap in the top and the bottom. Um, and I thought, what about using a pencil? Yes, it's not that sensible because you're not going to be able to sharpen it. But, you know, you can use it for, for a while. I mean, I suppose you can push it down a little bit. I couldn't think how to do it to make it um, removable. So, yeah, I thought it was just really fun. Um, and you could hang it um, on, at the side of your journal. So we'll make, we'll make a couple. You'll have to let me know. Do you think they're daft? <laughs> or do you think they, they're pretty cool? So we've got some stuff here um so i've got a couple of pencils and i've got some tea stained lace so we'll start by uh wrapping those up let's um let's i'll just do it on the back of some um paper i don't need to get me um thingy out so <clears throat> i'm just going to run some glue just down one of the sides of the, the pencils. I mean, if you've got some of those tiny pens, which you used to get free um, in places, but um, I've not seen any for, for a while. Obviously, if you've got pens, you could do it with a pen um, and then it would last a lot longer. Um, I suppose you could do a big version and do it with a normal size pen. Mm. Yeah, I quite like that idea actually. I might I might try that next time. So I'm just gonna wrap it just you know enough to, to cover it. So I'll just put a tub of glue like that. Let's cut it cut it off. Hopefully I've got it near the end. As if you have, as if you have, right. This would probably be a good one for the hot, hot glue, but I don't think I can cope with getting it out again for a while. <laughs> so that's one. <clears throat> we might as well um, do do them all, haven't we, while we while we're doing it. So these are going to be to go with uh, the daisy themed uh, things. So I'm going to, you've probably seen the, the wall that I'm going to be using. I've got some greens and some, that's an orange colour. Yeah, I think hot glue would be good for, for these. Let's um, cut that off about there. Yeah. Um, if I put the glue across the, the edge. I've been ages getting set up this this morning. Um I don't know where the where the days go. I really don't. Um I'm filming this, you'll see this on Sunday. I'm filming it on Wednesday, only the Wednesday uh, before, so <coughs> I'm not that far um in front. Um, it's Ryan's day off. I had the girls stay here last night, so if you've been watching, you'll know it's the Easter holidays here. And um, my daughter, who's well, she's nearly 15, um, <coughs> is taking it in turns sleeping at a friend's house. So every third night, I get um, her and her two friends here. So it was my turn again last night. It was a bit giggly last night. Um, the first night, they was fine. I didn't hear them. But last night, um, they, I mean, there wasn't, you know, 
but um, yeah, I could I could hear him, and it was gone midnight. Um, but I managed to fall asleep, and, and Ryan's not said anything this morning, so um, obviously he didn't didn't hear him. I think he fell asleep on on the Saturday. Um, so yeah, they they're still here. So whether you hear some doors slamming and giggling and what have you. I don't know, but um, they're supposed to be tidying, tidying the bedroom and getting washing down and because they just keep leaving the washing wherever they stay in, <laughs> they just keep leaving the washing, keep pulling this really, you know, these socks out and I think, mm, who's, it? you know, who's are those? Um, and yeah, they're one of her friends. So. I imagine in, in a few weeks I'll be saying to Alma, I've not seen that top, you know, for, for ages. And she'll be like, oh yeah, it's a, such and such as. But I've noticed that uh, more and more. It, I don't think none of us, none of us mind. Right, so we've covered the, the pencil. I'm not too worried that they're not down because obviously they're going to be wrapped, uh, wrapped up. So what do we need next? We want a couple of these um, end caps and I've used ones which, you know, are the same size as the bottom of the pencil. So I'll get three of those out. So oh, we don't need them anymore. We'll want, I don't think we quite want that size. We'll get a couple of those out for, for at the end and a couple of, Clasps. I'm going to use clasps, but you could put them on uh, ball pins or safety pins or little chains. So that's those. Um, and then I've got some uh, two different wires. So I'm going to use this one <coughs> first, which is um, eight millimeters, and this one's four. So this is the one that I'm going to do <coughs> the the hoop at, at the top. So I'm going to cut um, it down. You don't need a lot of tools, just something to cut. This is a really uh, soft wire. I don't know if it's... It doesn't say. But yeah, it's a really soft uh, wire. So I'm going to do, do a, a loop. So, go like that. Just the same as when we did the, um, it's a little bit hard to, because obviously it, it moves. Um, yeah, just the same as when we did uh, the bead dangles. So, I've got a loop like that. You'll have to forgive my hands. <laughs> Gosh, I, I've um, filled the printer up with ink. I mean, who gets in this mess? Got it all over the floor, all over my dressing gown. Um, the last time I did it, I got into a mess as well. So, can you see where these go in and out? So, I'm just going to move the wire like so. I don't think that bit really matters. And now, I did glue th uh, the first one on, but I didn't think it made much difference. But it's you've got to keep that a bit still while you do the first bit of winding which is is a bit it's a bit fiddly so I think again this this is a hot glue project because uh, obviously it stick straight away so let's let's try it with the with the glue Pop. But see, it's hard to keep it on because it only just um, fits. I don't know. I bet you thinking her hands are horrendous to look at. I've tried my hardest to get it off. Must be an easier way. Mm. 
Check that me out, clear that out. Right, hold on a minute. Okay, strangely, as soon as I turned the camera off, um, I was able to do it. So, let's see if I can do do the other one. I think I was trying to wind it too, too near, so obviously it was falling, coming off, but I started down there, and then it's just clasped it um, in place. And then other things are going to go um, over the top to secure it. So, let's... Um, do this one so I want to do it like that and then bring it round like so and then we'll pop that on pop that on there so I'm just going to hold it and then I, I started to do that and then you can <clears throat> manipulate that a little bit better. That's that. Right, yeah, that's it. Right, let's do the, do the other one. So we don't need that anymore. Go like that and then I don't even know if you need to do to do that. I think I could do this with my fingers. It's um it is really, really soft. Okay. Let's pop that on there. As soon as you've got it on a couple of times, you can then just <coughs> just move it, move it around. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Because it is, you know, it's it's quite secure, so. It must be, it must be fine. So I'm going to start um, wrapping some wool round. So I think I'm going to start with um, this one, and I'm just going to try and find, try and find the end. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, I am. And I'm just going to tie it, tie it on. Okay, tie it twice. And then I'm just going to wrap it round. I'm going to go to the top and then back down. And just bring it round. And then I've got my finger there so I can loop it and then tie it tie it off it's a bit hard to see obviously with the fluffy wool now I've oh, set and just knock that off let's try and do that oh how will I do it again that's it and tie that off I think yeah <coughs> Snip that off and then we'll go in with the um I would say it's probably a marigold uh colour. I've not tied that on ever, but I don't think it matters. Oh it will matter. Oh I don't know. Yeah, it will matter. Right, so Caught that with my finger <coughs> and then I bring it round and tie it off. Okay. 
<laughs> just did a knot in it in itself so i think that that will do that again there'll be wire um over the top of this um let's have a little bit more uh green perhaps i should have put the furry one on and, and then put the um this one on last so i've tied that one on And actually, if I bring it back to them, I can tie it off with that, can't I? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if that's how I did it, um, you know, the other time that I made them. But yeah, that's probably the best, best idea. Come on. So that's all the fibres I'm going to be putting, putting on. So that's that. Shall do the next one. So <laughs> let's start off with the green. So I'm going to tie it off. Let's tie it off at the bottom. And then I can go up to the top and then back down again. Leave it quite long so I've got something to tie it back up with like that at the end and tie it back and then we'll tie it off here yes that's better with a little bit of, of this so tie it on I'll pause the camera and do do the third one um why I'm on pause I don't think you need to. I think now we've we've sussed it <laughs> so but I think these are things you know you don't you don't make very often and at I, I, I get remember the you know a bit of it how to do it but um the actual ins and outs um i forget forget which is the best way so i have to relearn re every time uh, i revisit i've quickly just watched uh part of uh the video i will um i'll put it in the description the link to it so that's that and then we'll put some <coughs> fluffy on time so that obviously you can do you know bits of string sari silk whatever you want okay tie that off a little bit more <laughs> difficult to, to tie this let's say that's one and three so I'll cut that, cut that off so I've got that one and that one right I'll see you in a tick yeah I much prefer it like that Okay, okay. So they're all um, wrapped. So I've got this thinner wire. This is <coughs> four millimeter, and I'm going to be wrapping that round with some beads on. So let's have a look. I'm thinking I'll empty them in there. It might make it easier for me to to thread it because obviously it's all little seed beads and things. So we'll have some of these spacer beads on. I'll have some sequins. 
um, on top of a mixture of flowers. Some of these amberish looking. Yep. <laughs> if I can get a hold of them. Oh my goodness, I've got more on the table. Well, right, let's try and get those. So I'm going to leave this on uh, the reel so I'm not threading them on and um, I'm losing <laughs> losing them from from the other side. So I'm just I'm just going to start um, <laughs> threading them. So um, yeah, it's fiddly. I don't know if this is easier or not. Maybe you need them in something else to be able to do to do that motion. I don't know. If I could fast forward, this would be a good time, wouldn't it? So I'll do a few and then I'll obviously pause and, and do more. Because it's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> Probably hurt uh, your eyes watching me uh, do it. I'd say I could only do do a couple at a time. Right. And say the wire is really thin so it's fine for these seed beads. When I did it with the 8 mil, um, some of the seed beads was a bit a bit difficult to to thread on. Well, this 4 mil is a lot better. Right, let's get some <coughs> green on that. See if I can just dip this in and, and get some get some on that. Oh I've got one. <laughs> got one. Come on. Oh got one. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I'm playing um, some fishing game. I can say people pay to play games like this, don't they? Oh, keep getting one. So I think I had my seed beads from uh, BB Craft when I did a, a collaboration with them. These ones. I think these, <coughs> the brown ones, um, I bought some mixed uh, batch. Somebody, I think, must have, you know, done jewellery making and they were selling um like a mixed bundle um and it was pretty reasonable and there was some nice beads in there yep. right we'll go back on to brown let's try and get some of these sequins on they are really tiny sequins but perfect uh, for this I can't believe I sewed some of these on last year. Um, I made some clusters with um, pressed dried leaves and um, I sewed some beads and some um, sequins on them. I bet I forgot how to do that. I must do have a go of that again. But not for the Daisy project because we do need to we do need to move it on, don't we? Yay! <laughs> but I hope I've given you some um you know some ideas, some inspiration from the last few weeks of doing lots of ephemera and embellishments. So I've really enjoyed it. I know I've said it a million times but I have. I do like doing projects like this and doing it, you know from start to finish and the whole everything because I think <coughs> um, you know you can be pulling this out and, and the other out when you're uh, making something and um, you're like oh where did they get that from it, when did they make that um, but then obviously you don't want long videos uh, all of the time so <coughs> 
I'm going to try and bring this up a bit and I'm going to keep my finger there and I'm going to just go round the top and just wrap it. So wait till it's unsecure and then I'm just going to move some of the bead spark as I'm wrapping it. I mean you, you could, you know, put absolutely loads of beads on these. to the top so I'm just gonna <coughs> bring it uh, back back down just to tighten tighten everything up I'm um, doing it quite quite taunt 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 and then I'll just wrap wrap this and then just I'm just gonna try and like tuck it Took it in. This uh, four mil really hasn't got a sharp end edge at all. It's um, yeah, it's very soft. So that's that. It's <laughs> I love them. Um, shall we do another and then I'll do the other one off off camera. So let's get a couple of these on because these do take a bit of the room up. Oh, hope you can see. Uh, well enough but if you can't all I'm doing is putting beads on this wire but yeah I thought it was a really fun fun idea and like I say I haven't I haven't see, seen it um, so I don't know I don't know if somebody's done it or, or not in fact I've not seen anybody make bow beads for, for a long time Oh my goodness, no wonder. <laughs> I think last time I used bigger beads, but um, I, I think the bead that I made was uh, bigger. Obviously, I've only done it that length because I've done it to the length of the pencil. But um, yeah, you could definitely do it with a, with a pen. And then you could hang that, you know, at the side of your journal somewhere. And um, you've got your pen. I don't know um, how practical it would be, but it looked nice. Oh my, I'm not having any, any luck now, am I? My fingers or right, eyes aren't oh, behaving. Yeah, I flicked more off. Right, I'm going to pause and uh, fill, fill this up and I'll come back and we'll, we'll wrap it together. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I've threaded uh, this one, which was a lot easier doing it off camera. I don't. It's it's funny how um, how that happens, because I didn't do it any different. But um, yeah, it was a lot easier. So I'm going to put this on and wind it around. So and then start threading the beads down. Oh, nice. So I've just got my hand there. That's the end of, of the beads. And if I don't want them, I can pull them back, lock, and then put them in the next one. And then I'll just, I can cut round uh, these bits while getting in the way of the pencil. So that's that one. That top's not empty, but now it's there. I can put some fabric sack under, and it will probably catch it. Whereas before, obviously, it wouldn't stay stay still. Right. Yeah, there's no sharp edges there. So let's just get my uh, scissors and give it give it a trim. I 
Okay, so that's that one. Let's um, <laughs> see how I go with the camera on. So what I did is I just bent it up a little bit and just kind of, oh, I didn't do that off camera. <laughs> I don't know why it makes a difference. It, it's strange. See, I've not even got one on. Yeah, that is so strange because, yeah, I was doing that, getting, you know, one or two off each, each one that I was uh, doing. Fancy cutting the fluff off into there. Yeah. So I'm starting to get get one. Oh, look at that! Whoa, I'm on a roll. Quick, <laughs> get some more on. Oh dear. So definitely a good one for sitting while you're um, watching telly, um, and you know on days where if you're not feeling very well and not just sitting at the side of your bed if you've got a tray uh, on your knee. Um, definitely a, a good one. Oh gosh, right, let's go for some of these now. Because I obviously want to use all, all these on this plate. Or I could just throw them on the floor, couldn't I? And <laughs> just do for them up. Um, but yeah, I think I'll pause again and put, put them on um, off camera. It's very strange so I don't even think I've got my wire the right way that just flicked didn't it yeah I think I'm, I'm flicking more than I'm getting on I wonder if it's because when the camera's on, you talk, whereas if I was doing it on my own, um, I wouldn't be talking. So maybe um, I'm just not concentrating as much when the camera's on. That might, that might be it. Yeah, no, I can't get that one. Right, yeah, so I'll pause again and um, get get all these on because I obviously want to, to use all these up. Okay, I've, I've done that. I didn't quite finish the beads off. <laughs> I think I was being a bit, a bit ambitious. Right, so let's um, tuck that in and wind that round. Then let's start feeding some of the beads. Let's pull them Pull them all up. Like so. Um, if you are looking for bead stuff, I have got um, on my Amazon <coughs> favourites um, a section called beads and, and buttons where it's got several things that, that I've got. Chasing those last ones because I don't want to leave it on the wire. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. So bring the wire back up. Cut it off. If you only had the eight, <laughs> you could. Um, I did that one, the first one with with the eight, the same wire. I don't think you could do that part with with this, um, with the four one. I think it would be too flimsy. Um, so if you hadn't got any wire and you was wanting some, I think probably the eight would would do uh, both both jobs. I don't think you do need both. I didn't even realise I got a thinner one, and then when I saw it, I thought, well, I might as well, might as well use that. Right, that's that cut down. Let's cut this one down. 
These will be great for any woodland uh, type journals. I'm going to keep my eyes open for some um, small, small pens. I can see you probably could sharpen it <coughs> once or twice, but I think after that you'd you'd have shot it. But who knows? Who knows until you try it? Right, I'm not going to get the tools out to, to do this. So I've got little jump ring and a clasp. Like I say, you could put this <coughs> um, on a ball pen, safety pen, what whatever. So that's that one really sorry about my hands i'll probably be like this for days now and say last well <clears throat> it was probably about six weeks ago when i put in ken or even about eight weeks i've got an eco tank and um i don't have to fill it very often i think that's probably why i get in so much mess um that's that one and this one so i know it probably hasn't viewing wise been the greatest video to to watch but i do hope that that i've inspired you to uh not only make these but um yeah i'd like to see if anybody can can do anything different with them because um i think it's a really cool idea so thank you very much for joining me i think that's all the uh daisy um embellishments um made i am going to make a little bit more ephemera because um i want to do something with paper bags and because i'm you know doing daisy i'm going to you know use the the daisy papers so um i shall see you on monday which will be the facebook challenge which this month it is a postcard challenge um it's just decorating a postcard four by six six by four um postcard so it doesn't have to be a postcard it can be an index card just a piece of card um material um on a canvas whatever and um yeah the theme is enchanted um so if you want to play along <coughs> um feel free to post your photos on the facebook group links to your videos as i've said before if you want to share them privately uh, feel free to email me and um, anybody who does one for every single week will be in with a chance um in the prize draw so that's that so i'll see you monday Bye for now. Thanks for joining me. Bye.